Say less! <laughs> Ladies and fellas, in we have Returned! I've been gone for a minute, but I'm back now. Back with more Skyward Sword today, fellas. And uh, this old lady just told us that we need to talk to uh, the guy in Skyloft. I think it's Zelda's dad. Basically, there's some old timer or somebody who knows like the ancient song or something like that that's gonna teach us what to do next. I, I don't know, we're gonna figure it out. And here's Groose, okay. Oh, come on, I couldn't do a thing. I'm totally useless. At least he understands. Then he just runs away. What was the point? Who cares? I don't care with your stupid running animation. <laughs> Man ran to a wall so he can be in pain by himself. Look at him. Look at this idiot. All right, so as we look for this damn bird statue, last time we got in a big fight with uh, Samehada's grandpa. <laughs> He was an ugly fella, but we took care of him. We took care of business as per usual, but it was a lot of fun. So uh, getting tossed into that boss fight so quickly. Oh, whoa, whoa. All right, we're just going to find a different bird statue. All right. Oh, no. Just let me get to the bird statue, bro. Just let me get to the bird statue. All right, I'm going to be honest. I probably skipped what he said, but basically he was saying, what if I could play a song for these butterflies or something? Okay. I didn't think that would actually do anything. What the hell is this? Okay, we got access to one of the talking statues, okay. Wow, I got an ornamental skull. So if I find butterflies swarming around, there could be one of these stones, so I'll just play my harp and then it'll appear and I guess give me something. Oh, 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 wow! wow! Loftwing, I choose you, boy! And here we are, uh, if I know Zelda's daddy, He's probably gonna be... Actually, I don't know where we're gonna find him, but let's just dive off here and hope for the best. Headmaster, yes, open the door. See if he's in here. Hey! I think he's gonna be the one with the answers. You're back, Reax. Good to see you're still in one piece. You know I build different pops. So how's it going down there? Are you any closer to finding my Zelda? Kind of. I hope so. No, okay. Okay. Ah! But I need some help. I see, my dear Zelda. Things must be terribly trying for her down there. What? You want to know the lyrics to the song Zelda sang on the day of the wing ceremony? Yes, please. You just want the lyrics? Oh, what a relief. You really put me on the spot there for a moment. I believe the lyrics go something like this. Oh, youth, guided by the servant of the goddess. I have to read this slow because it's appearing slow. Unite earth and sky and bring light to the land so this is pretty much saying oh youth being me guided by the servant of the goddess which is my sword fee i call her fee i don't care if it's fi i say fee unite earth and sky bring light to the land so do they mean unite the land above so like skyloft and earth hmm? that's the first part but as i recall there's a second verse to the song oh youth show the two whirling sails the way to the light tower and before you, a path shall open, and a heavenly song you shall hear. All right, now this one's a little more thought-provoking. The light tower mentioned in the song is a real place. I'm sure you've seen the tower in the plaza. I don't know a thing about two whirling sails, though. All right, so we have uh, some clues. So we need to find two whirling sails and guide them to the light tower. So first of all, let's locate and track down this light tower. I'm not even is this the light tower right here? I mean, this is the most tower-esque thing that I could see. Let's sound the goddess's song beneath the light's radiance. Okay, this is probably the light tower. Yeah, so I do believe this is the right spot, but two whirling sails um, that we would have to guide here. I have no idea what that could be. I wonder if it has anything to do with these, uh, with these windmills. There's one here. And then there's one here, so I don't know. This one's closer, so let's check this one. Uh, I, I I don't know what it's talking about. It says whirling, so when I think whirling, this is probably the closest thing to whirling. Um, oh, hold on. Uh, we have a tool for this. Gust bellows. Uh oh. Oh yep, this is it. So we just need to point this towards that tower and see what happens. 
okay okay but it said to do two so maybe if we get the other one pointing that direction then uh we'll have it figured out here is the next one and it's missing the thing of course of course okay this guy has noticed so you're curious about that windmill eh i'm running out of voices so i'm just giving people voices pretty smart design i gotta say see you can turn the windmill so that it can always catch the wind no matter which way it's blowing there's an issue though i can't turn it but well, there used to be this little propeller attached to the windmill so that you could turn it. The thing blew up ages ago. It must have dropped down off the edge, down beneath the clouds. Oh, uh, of course, it's never as simple as I'd like it to be. The windmill's been uselessly sitting there ever since. I highly suggest you retrieve the windmill propeller from the land below to reorient the windmill. Obviously. Thank you. Well, if I had the propeller, I could probably rig something together to get it back on there. Sure. Well... Looks like, uh, looks like we're going back down. Come to think of it, Gondo at the scrap shop told me that someone in his family once used a flying robot to haul junk back from beneath the clouds. All right, you're Gondo, right? Hey, kid, yeah, what's up? You look like you need to get something off your chest. I think I know what it is. You've got a favor to ask me, right? Yes, I do. It's about this old robot my grandpa used to tinker around with. He probably came here to make fun of the crazy junk guy for believing his grandpa's stupid stories, right? No, man. Can we skip all this and just make me my robot? Later. You got this. You got this. Yeah. Yeah. Hey! Imret Benbeck. What up, scrapper? Yeah. Thank you, sir. I've got a full tank of energy, and I'm ready to carry anything, sir. Huh? Who is this green-clad individual of small stature? I'm your new owner. Come. Master Reacts, materials from the windmill have yielded a signal that you may search for with your dazzling ability. Use it to locate the fallen propeller. Imbret, better Propeller? However, it will not be possible to carry the item in your pouch and return to the sky. So that's why I can't just go down there and get it, even though the propeller is not that big. But sure. Okay, so the robot likes feet. The robot has a crush. We now have the means to bring the propeller back to Skyline. All right, now that we have this dowsing ability, we should be able to find this damn propeller somewhere, hopefully. It's like we got our first signal over here. So it's right over there. So do I have to actually like physically go over there and then have the robot bring it up? Or can I have it like go down there from here? Well, I see no other option, so let's go. All right, here we go. Back to this, uh... Fiery ass land. It reports, Master. What? It's possible to descend to a specific bird statue on the surface after you have already visited it. Wow. We only have one available, so I guess that's where we're going. All right, and here we are. We gotta look around for this damn propeller piece. It looks like it's gonna be over here. That's easy. Oh, there it is. How did I not see that before? I swear I've been here. <laughs> there we go. This is the window propeller you were searching for. Yeah, I can see that. It's not possible to retrieve this using the robot on the surfaces. Okay, now that I look at it, I do understand why we couldn't just carry this ourselves. All right, here it comes. What up, buddy? Mistress Fee, I hope you weren't waiting long. Psst. This robot trying to get 80. So, sir, do you want me to carry this? Hey, Master Short Pants, you're in my way, sir. I said get out of the way, sir. <laughs> this thing wants Fee's booted. I'll be waiting for you up in the sky, so don't take long, Master, I suggest that we also Again, that's the plan, but thank you. <laughs> All right, so that was pretty easy. I thought for a second like it was gonna be multiple propeller pieces, but it was just one. Yeah! All right, and here we are. It took us right back where we needed to be. Here's that windmill propeller, Zap. If you need me, feel free to call. Okay. Is that? It is. That's the windmill propeller. That thing was supposed to have fallen down below the clouds. Are you saying that whole story handed down through Gondo's family was actually true? Yes, blah, blah, blah. You were wrong. He was right. Who cares? Fix the propeller. This goes in here, and I just crank that. A few clicks. All right. And we got a propeller. Now we can actually uh, do this thing. What? It's not going the right way. This is absurd. Why wouldn't it just go the other way? Boom. Stop. Hey. Oh, yep, we did it, we did it, and this looks, looks interesting, okay, let's, uh, let's head on over there, fellas. Climbing, elaborate, climbing, elaborate, climbing, elaborate. All right, here we are, um, so now what? Now do we just play a song? Like, I see this light, and I see a mirror here. Do I have to somehow make this light touch the mirror? Oh, 
That's all it took. I didn't even need to know a song. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, she sang. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, she ugly as hell singing. Yeah. Let him know. Oh, we playing that thing, we said. Ooh, we got some talent now. Uh oh. It's rotating. We're gonna get that reflection. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. We just fired a Kamehameha into this cloud. Oh my god. That was beautiful. There's a high probability that this beam of light will lead us to the clues as to the whereabouts of the three flames. I recommend that you investigate what lies at the end of this beam of light. Say less! Wow! It's in this big thing of clouds over here. So now we can see what's beyond the clouds! Hey! Hey, tornadoes! Hey! Wah! Wah! You can't stop me anymore, tornadoes! I'm built different now! Sorry! Maybe next time! Ha! Ah, ha! Ah, ah! Here we are at the edge. Dive in full speed! Oh, oh, we're in a different dimension. What the hell is that? Are they friendly? Ah, oh, they're not friendly! Ah, oh, they're not friendly! Ah, oh, they're not friendly! Ah! Wah! Okay. Don't like this. Don't like this. Uh, hey! 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 What is this paraglider over here? Should I investigate that or just focus on the beam? I think I'm gonna just focus on the beam for now. Right, and here we are. Sorry, bird. Ow. <laughs> okay, so this is where I was supposed to go. What do I do here? Impressive! The goddess herself? <laughs> We just push this thing? Okay, so it looks like this is some sort of... What the hell is this, actually? 11 minutes later. Oh, I get it. Kind of. So, this represents this piece of the bridge. This one represents the furthest piece. And then this one represents the middle piece. So, hit this. It looks like it's giving me a way to move this piece so we need to somehow get them all lined up by getting them all blocked off at the right time okay so if i get them blocked off here the one closest to me so now those are lined up so we got these two lined up nice so now we can put this up okay i think i got it now all right so they're all lined up now we need to make a path and that should be it. I love that Zelda makes you use your brain, bro. Let's get it. Let's get it. All right. We have made it. Let's go. And uh, here I am. Now we're in a spooky cavern um, or spooky temple or something. This looks like a Skyward Strike thing. I said sha sha sha. I'm here. I'm here. I had to let you know via my Skyward Clash. Ooh, that boy said clack. Oh. Oh, that's creepy. Oh, that's creepy. Look at his mouth. Look at that. <laughs> Hello. Please share. Let's hear it. Let's hear it. Oh, okay. Fee is just schmoovin' while she says all this. For each trial you overcome, you shall be blessed with one of the gifts. Wow, oh, she's schmoovin'. Make use of the power of these gifts, and you will find your way to the purifying sacred flames. So majestic. Now I bestow unto you a melody. It will serve you as a key, opening the first trial that awaits you deep in the wilds of the Farren Woods. Back to the Farren Woods? Uh-oh. 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 Yeah. 
Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, she's moving. Ah. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, this is a beautiful cutscene. Yeah. Ooh, look at them lock wings. What a beautiful scene. Yeah. Impressive. Better than that. Okay, so I'm assuming we're gonna learn a song for like each area. This is for the Farron Woods, and then we're gonna have one for Eldon and uh Lanai. Wow! Yo, I can't get over how beautiful this game is. I know I'm not talking like in terms of graphics. Obviously, it's an older Wii game, but just like the art style, the songs, the mu like everything is just, it's a beautiful game. This is one of the most beautiful Zelda games, man. I consider it's the worst courage to memory. Now you can use your gals' ability to search for the game leading to the first trial in my space. Hey! I suggest you set up for Fairy Woods as soon as you are ready. It's time. It's time for the next quest the next piece of our adventure fellas we got a new dowsing ability all right fellas i know this was a little bit of a shorter episode but i want to get it posted today so we're gonna cut it off here i'm trying to post these weekly i know i fail at it a lot but uh that is definitely always the goal but next we are gonna head on to Farron woods and uh try to find this gate and i'm sure it's gonna be uh, new enemies and you know new dungeons and stuff like that to deal with so sounds exciting sounds fun definitely stay tuned for that i will bring this to you as soon as i possibly can next week and uh we gonna get it cracking goodbye if you smell what we got is cooking. Oh,